Howdy folks. Today we're calibrating our T12 integrated or direct drive soldering iron tips for our KSGER soldering station, which I did a review on last week. And I just thought I'd show you the calibration process because it's quite interesting in case anyone wants to know what's involved. To be honest, out of the box, these things are already fairly accurate. The ones I did check before calibration, most of them were within 10 degrees Celsius. Maybe the odd one was 20 degrees out. Uh, certainly way more accurate than my uh, old school ceramic element soldering iron from my other soldering station. But one of the reasons we get these is for the accuracy. So I just thought I'd show the process. It's quite dynamic in that you're not just calibrating it for a single set temperature. It's actually done in phases. It does three phases of calibration basically from high temperature to low. So it does a 450 Celsius calibration, a 350 and a 250. And we'll just take it in that order. Um, I haven't done this tip yet. It's a KU tip. Now, one thing to note on the station, let me just zoom into this. If you've done a calibration, you'll get this little asterisk beside the uh, tip selection. So I've already calibrated the BL tip and that's why there's a little uh, asterisk there. So we push in to, and turn right to get to our tip selection. This is a KU we're going to be doing now. So we'll go to the KU. There it is. Select it and you'll see a zero there, meaning that it hasn't gone through the calibration process for this tip yet. So I've just got my multimeter. It's in the temperature um, scale. I've got my thermal couple hooked to it and here's the end of the thermal couple. And I've just got it, you know, a couple inches off the uh, bench here. And I'm just going to let the weight of the iron and tip rest on the tip of the thermocouple probe. Like that. And I'm going to add some solder as well to it. So there's good conductivity between the tip and the probe. As you can see, our set temperature here is 300. And this is at this is overshooting, so this one's out quite a bit. So to go into calibration, you push in and turn counterclockwise or to the left. Okay, so tip adjustment. So you've got start and you just click it. So now it's going up to 450. It says the adjustment point is 447 and it's showing the current temp. And then this highlighted temp at the bottom that's what we're going to set. We'll adjust our bottom temperature here, up or down, to what the meter reads once it stabilizes. 437, 438. So it's stabilizing at about 438. Enter. Now it's doing an adjustment point at 347 Celsius. So we'll just wait for the meter to stabilize. So it's stabilized around 378, so that's where we'll set this, dial it up to 378, enter. Now it's going to adjust at 247. So the iron has stabilized now at about 300 it looks like. We're still counting down, but we'll dial this to 3. Dial this up to 299, enter. So now we should have a fairly accurate iron. So our set temperature is 300. It's indicating 301 here. And that's exactly what we're getting on our meter more or less. And let's dial it up to, let's go up to 360. See if it is calibrated fairly well. This meter saying the tip is 366 now. This one's overshooting a little more. Very accurate, definitely easy to get within 6 degrees Celsius. Probably on all your uh, tip ranges. But as you can see, it uh, does a good job. Set it at 320 here. There, the iron says it's stabilized at 320, or the station has. And our meter is lagging a little bit, to be expected. There, it's stabilized at about four degrees over what our set temperature is. Certainly good enough for me. So that's it. Pretty awesome. Oh, and you'll see that the, here we'll zoom back in. 
and now we'll see that the KU does have the asterisk behind it, meaning that the tip is calibrated. And you can go back in and recalibrate. And another neat thing, I never showed this before, there's a little dot here. That little dot is just, as you're moving the iron, that little um, sensor, the motion sensor in there, just tells when that is being triggered. We'll just clean this tip off and tin it. And put it away. Cheers, folks. Have a good one.